What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you the best night game opener that you can use to get a conversation started with a cute girl. So guys often get really hung up on the opener. They're like, okay, what should I do? Should I go in, you know, indirect? Should I go direct? Should I make a joke? Should I use a pickup line? And I've tried pretty much every type of opener. And what I found that for night game, the best and most effective type of opener is to make an interesting comment on the situation. So it's to make a situational comment. I mean, you might be wondering what the fuck that is. Well, you're basically commenting on something that's going on around you. But also another important thing is gonna be your body language and tonality. You can have the best opener ever, right? But if your voice is like this, and your body language is poor, the girl's just gonna ignore you, right? So it's also your indirect subcommunication that matters. So we're gonna take a look at some infield examples so you guys can see exactly how it's done. So I want to pick two kind of the more difficult situations. The first one is gonna be me approaching a girl who's like 10 of her friends, right? So we're gonna see what kind of situational opener I use in a situation like this. Preach. I like your coconut. I like your uh, coconut. So the context is that she had one of those like big fruity drinks, right? So I was like, okay, this is a perfect thing to make a comment on, right? And like, you can literally say, I like this, I like that, blah, blah, blah. You can literally riff off anything. Or pineapple. <laughs> it's, it's very large. Here I'm making a little bit of a sexual innuendo. I'm like, it's very large. You know what they say about girls with large pineapples, right? What do they say? Now here she says yes, so I decide to challenge her a little bit. I'm like, what do they say, right? So I usually like to troll girls a little bit. So if they're like confident, I'm like, oh, what do they say, right? I'll kind of test them a little bit. I'll get one over there. Yeah. I can't handle that much sweetness. I'm, I'm Russian, we're very sour by nature. What's your name? Cool, I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Spain. Cool, what part? North of Spain. I've been to Portugal, so I know the area. So you can see from then, I've infiltrated the group, I got her attention, she's facing towards me, I got the conversation started, and from there on, it's really just gonna come down to my level of game, her level of availability, and whether I'm her type or not, right? But you can see that in a situation like that, I just made a, com a comment on her drink, used as that as an end, made a few jokes, and then transitioned it to talking about me and her, right? So that's kind of the transition. Let's take a look at another example. This one's gonna be uh, another one that guys often struggle with, is when there's two girls and they're walking, right? So the, leading up to this, I wish we got this on tape, but uh, they stopped and they took like a picture of her. So like she had her friend take a picture of her and she was just doing like the typical thing, right? And I wanted to go in and photobomb them, but by the time that they were done, uh, by the time I got over there, they were already done with the photo, right? So I decided to, again, comment on the situation. Hey, if you guys are enjoying the content on this channel, then make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and click that bell for notification. Wait, take another one. We need, we need one together. <laughs> but we're like we like hold hands and shit. Ah, uh, do I? Hold yeah. hands? Yeah. <laughs> well, we can we can put the no, dog. We, do we, we can put the dog in the photo. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Where's your accent from? So yeah, comment on the situation, like the fact that she was taking a photo, and then you don't want to get too stuck on the open, and then you transition it to something random. You're gonna see the same exact pattern as in the previous infield. Costa Rica. Oh, cool. I always wanted to go. Huh? To Costa Rica? Yeah. I've been to most of like Central and South oh, America. Well, on Tuesday, so. Well, you're welcome. Are we gonna go together? Yeah. <laughs> that was so fun. Can I be your uh, stowaway? Huh? You can put me in your luggage. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that. I'll just, I'll, <laughs> yeah, well, I'll, I'll hold them and we'll cuddle each other and uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll be a good fit. Are you visiting? Yeah. From, uh, Today I came here. Ah. She came to visit me. I live here, so. Oh, ah, wow. You must really like her. You flew all the way. Just, yeah, right. Wow. All right, best friend. <laughs> what are you guys doing tonight? So, party so, what, party. so what are you and I gonna do tonight? I wanna go party. We're gonna go party? You wanna go party? Yeah, we can party. Let's go party. Let's, let's have a and then you can see it very smoothly transitioned to that. Now, of course, the rest of the infield is like fucking 20 minutes long. Uh, it's quite long, it's besides the purpose. Now, full transparency, I did not at this point in time hook up with any one of those girls, but you can see that in terms of the opener, this is exactly how you do it, right? You go, you try to make a situational comment, and then you transition, right? You throw in some humor in there and some flirting, but since this video is on the opener, we're gonna keep it at that. Now, you might be thinking, okay, but what if for the life of me, I cannot think of anything to say? Like, let's just say there's absolutely nothing going on. The 
chick is just like literally sitting there with like a blanket face, not holding anything, not doing anything, blah, blah, blah. In a situation like that, the default opener that I use is I simply just say, go up there, I make strong contact, and I say, hi, I'm Alex. I just literally introduce yourself, myself, right? That's a simple one. Now, of course, since your name is not Alex, you're not actually gonna say that. You're gonna say, hey, I'm, and insert her name. And the reason I like this as a backup is because it assumes familiarity. It assumes that you're someone that's important enough for her to get to know you, right? And this is all gonna be so much better than using pickup lines, using you know any kind of canned routines, uh, or going super direct. Like sometimes it can be good to go direct, being like, hey, you're really hot. But for night game, that can often be too aggressive, and the girl might just get defensive. And especially if she's with her girlfriends, her girlfriends might just go instantly in defense mode. So this is why I prefer going with the situational comment. It looks a lot more smooth, and one thing that girls will always say is, oh, you know, I want just to be smooth and feel natural, right? Uh, and they kind of take it for granted, the level of game that's involved in pulling that off, right? But in order to kind of feed into that fantasy, the situational opener is going to be your best bet rather than just going super direct and being like, hey, you're hot, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like that's going to be too aggressive. And if you can't think of anything, go with default with, hey, insert your name, introduce yourself, and then transition it. And then you can get yourself a nice cute Latina. All right. Hopefully you guys found this video valuable. Show us some love by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, and click that bell for notification. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.